Hello everybody, welcome to Solihull Libraries Make and Create. Now it'll soon be Chinese New Year, so I thought we could make a Chinese dragon puppet. Like this one that I made earlier. There he is. So for this activity you will need a couple of straws, you'll need some different coloured paper. I used red and yellow and also green and yet um, for his markings and for his nose and some white paper for his teeth and his eyes. We also need some tissue paper for the flames here. Okay, you'll also need some sticky tape and a glue stick. Okay, and you need some adult help as well at some point, but I'll sh to show you how to do it. So I'll pop him back and we'll get started. Right, so. Okay, so to make his concertina body, you're going to need some different coloured paper. I A4 paper, A3 if you've got it, that's brilliant. But if you haven't, you can just use A4. And so what I did, I got two pieces of yellow and I measured about four centimetres to there. And I cut a strip down there and you'll end up with two strips. And again, the same with the red paper. Okay, and then all you need to do is just stick them together to make a really long piece. Okay, once you've done that, you need to get your glue stick and you're going to glue the end of the one strip. And just place the other strip at right angles on top of it so it kind of looks like so okay then once that's secure stick it down you very carefully start folding the bottom bit over the this orange bit there over the top of that one and then use your other colour one to bring that over the top again. And you carry on doing that till you get to the end. And this is what you'll end up with. And when you've finished, you then just secure the, the last bit to there, like so. And that's your concertina body. So we'll put that to one side for a moment. And then we need to just prepare the next bits. As I say, you can use a template if you want to, if you don't want to, if you just want to make sure you don't make a mistake and then draw around the template onto your coloured paper. So for his face, I used, I did an oval shape and that was about nine centimetres down by about seven centimetres across. Okay. And then for the markings on him, for, for his like horns, I did a sort of flame shape like so. And what I did, I used some orange colored paper. I folded it and then drew it. Then when you cut it out, you'll end up with two that are exactly the same, okay? And then <clears throat> I did a tear drop shape there. Again, folded, so you'll end up with two when you cut it out. And another tear shot drop shape again folded and for his nose I did like an oval shape on the fold and when you cut it out you'll end up with a double nose but I'll show you in a minute. When you've cut all those pieces out you also need to do to get some white paper and do a sort of zigzag shape like that for his teeth. Cut that out and again I folded it and on the fold I did an eye when you cut that out, you'll have two eyes the same. Okay. So when you've done all that cutting out, you can then just start to assemble it. Put the two horns on the top there, use your glue stick, and stick these bits on here, on the sides, like so. And his eyes, and I just coloured in his pupils. And for his nose, I then coloured in some nostrils there for him. And you've got his teeth there, you can stick his teeth on, okay. And then when you need to do his flames coming out of his mouth, 
I just cut some strips of tissue paper like so and this is where you might need somebody to help you um, to make sure that they're, they're sort of secure you just get a stapler and you just there we go sort of staple them so that they're secure and then you just get some sticky tape and we're just going to sticky tape the flames to the back of his face like so there you go and you've got his flames coming out of his mouth there we go so the next thing we need to do you need to do his tail so you get another off cut of your paper and about 20 centimeters by two th th strip like like this here and to make it curl you just need to get your pencil and you just need to fold it round your pencil like so all the way around and then that makes it curly so we can now start to put him together so there we are so you're going to stick his tail on first you can either use glue or sticky tape, it's up to you. I'll just use some glue, I think. There we are. We'll put that on the back here. Okay. And then you need to put the straws on. So you get your two straws and you get some sticky tape and just put your sticky tape on the top there and then on one of the curl the folds at the back you just gently put that in so it goes there and then you get your other straw go and get your sticky tape put the sticky tape on the top bit there and then you then put the other straw in one of the folds near the other end okay like so oops a daisy difficult to do on film there we go In the middle and then for his face you get somebody to hold it for you you get his face and basically you're just going to stick his face onto the front for ease I just use some sticky tape or you could use glue some sticky tape on just get the glue, the sticky tape and pop that on the back there sticky tape that on and there is your Chinese dragon so have fun playing with him hope you enjoyed that and see you again soon bye